Hello everyone, Michael here and welcome back to our channel where we talk about the latest news in the world of business. Today we're going to talk about Czech, an education technology company which saw a sharp decline in its shares on Tuesday amidst fears that its growth was being threatened by OpenAI's free jet GPT service. Company CEO warned that the competition was affecting its performance, leading to a 48% drop in Czech shares to close at $9.08. This is a significant fall from the stock's early 21 position of trading above $100, a time when most students were attending online classes from home due to the pandemic. The situation worsened as big public school districts such as New York City and Los Angeles started blocking the use of chat GPT services in classrooms and on school devices. However, this behavior is not a solution as chat GPT will not go away even if students are prevented from using it. And ChatGPT does not need to go away because ChatGPT is not the problem. The problem, obviously, is Czech's management team, who did not do what they were supposed to do, asking themselves how they would destroy their own business. So, now someone else is doing it for them. I call this technique shooting your own foot before someone else shoots you in the neck. Check has been shot in the neck and it's highly unlikely that they will have the time to repair the damage done. The current business model is no longer valid, so solutions will have to come from new business propositions. And this takes time. Time that Check did not use in the past to be ready for today. Despite the decline, Check CEO Rosenzweig remains optimistic about the company's health calling Tuesday's, Tuesday's sell-off extraordinarily overblown in an interview with CNBC. However, past companies such as Woolworth, Toys R Us, Blockbuster Video and Compaq have also expressed similar confidence before going out of business. It's all too little, it's all too late, and obviously, obviously everything is somebody else's fault. Trying to imagine what could potentially put your company out of business brings a number of benefits. First, you enable the people to speak out what nobody wants to say out loud. It will reveal inherent weaknesses as well as unexploited strengths. Secondly, it will identify dangers coming from angles that are currently not seen as competition. By identifying these dangers first, strategies can be devised to use these on your competition. Lastly, if dangers are identified of such a nature that there is no more time to turn the company around, there may still be the option to sell off the business and leave another party with a poison gift. In short, OpenAI's free JetGPT service is not responsible for the current demise of Czech's growth. In early 2021, when Czech traded above $100 because all students were locked up in their homes, Czech CEO Rosenzweig was busy selling ice cream on a warm beach rather than preparing for the future. Experts now warn that the current business model is no longer valid and Czech needs to come up with new business propositions. The rest of 2023 will tell if there was time enough. I hope you've enjoyed this opinion on what's going on at Czech. If you did, please do consider subscribing to this very young channel. It will really help us being noticed by the YouTube algorithms. And with that, I thank you very much. We'll be back with an update tomorrow.